but I still find it extremely demeaning. It definitely bothers me, like, as a woman. Those are the reactions you'd expect about a fantasy slut league or FSL at Piedmont High School, but it's even more thoughtful than that. You can condemn these boys for creating a game online of points for sex and like the things they do with girls, but really is the media any better? Last week, Piedmont High School's principal sent a letter home to parents letting them know about a fantasy slut league, saying students had known about it for at least five years and that it was part of the bonding for some of the varsity athletes. Quote, our female students, unbeknownst to most of them, are drafted as part of the league. Male students earn points for documented engagement in sexual activities with female students. But it's not really clear what was going on. I think it's blown out of proportion. Um, I think the principal is a little bit misinformed. And a student who says she has personal connections to FSL wrote to Patch.com, quote, female students score the points for their team by engaging in any documented form of sexual act with any boy or girl, which through gossip comes to be known by the boys. The boys who participate in FSL are thus not incentivized to coerce or force sexual acts. There's been no crime reported to us, no rape, any of that kind of thing. And if that were the case, we would respond directly to the authorities, to the Piedmont police. The district says the point is to open up a discussion about respect, self-worth and empathy. And the students, even those who find it appalling, say we shouldn't be shocked. It's not like a representation of like Piedmont being a really bad school. It's more just like this is something that is wrong with high school in general and it's manifesting itself here at this school.